Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 6, Section 2, Number 2, which reads, While deliberately adding chemical compounds like may seem destructive and irresponsible, this method of experimenting is sometimes the most effective way to influence policy and save the environment from even more damaging pollution. So when we look at the answer choices, we're going to kind of go out of order a bit here. Uh, first, we'll check answer choice B. What we've got for answer choice B is we've got two items in a list. When there's two items in a list, no comma is needed. B is gone. So you'd say, my favorite colors are red and blue. Red and blue, no comma before the and there. Same thing here, destructive and irresponsible. Answer choice C. There are circumstances where you'd put a comma after an and. Usually that's in a case where you could take out a phrase between matching commas after that and. That doesn't really make sense here. I'm going to read without irresponsible. While deliberately adding chemical compounds to the lake may seem destructive and, this method of experimenting is sometimes the most effective way of influ influencing policy and save the environment, sorry, to influence policy and save the environment from even more damaging pollution. C is gone. Answer choice D, randomly throws a comma after the word method. Um, not going to be correct either. Um, and it is missing another pause, which is also going to lead us to the correct answer. So generally speaking, use a comma when you pause. So if I'm to read with answer choice D in place, while deliberately adding chemical compounds to lake may seem destructive and irresponsible. Um, that's introducing the sentence. And notice what we've got after, so you would pause there. Notice what we've got after that. This method of experimenting is sometimes the most effective way to influence policy and save the environment from even more damaging pollution. That is an independent clause, so you do need to pause there. So answer choice A is going to wind up being correct answer. And in answer choice D, may seem destructive and irresponsible, this method of experimenting. There's no pause here. So your correct answer is A. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty knowing when to use a comma. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.